Today in five computer practice and probably maybe in six computer practice students, today we are going to look at the notes regarding mail merge. Now, firstly, you will get in your question paper, you will be asked um, to type table that is always your question a now question a is it can be question 4a question 5a and so forth but the a one is always your table now things you have to look at is you have to remember that the headings is on top now what do we mean by headings the table in your question paper will maybe have the word record one two three or letter one two three on top now, a heading is something that you can give an answer to. It's normally how I explain this one in mail merge. Like, for example, name. You can tell me the name for the person is Abby or Bongani. Date. This is the date. Seat. This is the seat number. But when I ask you letter one, you don't know what to answer me. There's no specific um answer to letter one or record one or so on. So your headings is always the name, the date, things like that, that you can answer, that you have information about. Then the information will follow. This is the information. It tells us there are no headers and footers because in your table, you will have a space where you type in your initials and surname as well as your question number. Then it tells us to save, print, and close the document. But before we save and print it, please make sure that you space out your columns. Make sure that it doesn't go on to a next line in the same column. And then when you save it, um, also ensure first that you check is it a landscape orientation or in portrait orientation that you need to print. That will also help you with spacing out columns. So just check that. Then after you have printed, you must make sure that you close this document. Now, please remember when you save your work, don't just save it randomly. Make sure that you know where you have saved it because you will need it for your next question. Now, firstly, uh, before I continue to the B part, I just want to say for the N6CP students that if they provide a table in your question paper, um, that you have to retrieve, then it means you will skip A and you just continue with the next instructions. It means you will not have an A part that you will do for table. You will just go on to your primary or your main document. Now then you will just in step three, browse and open the table that they have typed for you. That is if you are in N6. Now let's check question B. Now B is always your primary or your main document which means it's step one to step four. That is your question B. Now what they tell you is open a new document. So make sure that it's not the, the document with the table. The table document must be saved and closed. Then the next instruction will tell you to use the mailings function or the mail merge function. You will see here, use the mail merge function to prepare the letters. Now we will get back to this question paper. I first want to explain. So when they tell you to make use of the mailings function, or the mail merge function, then you just go to the mailings tab. You go to start mail merge and you go to step by step. Then you will see on the right hand side, they will open up a right hand pane for you and you have to work with this pane. Now people, there's a lot of other methods also out there. I do like this method because it's a controlled method. So uh, that's why I show you this method, but you are welcome to use uh, another method if you feel more comfortable with it. Now you will see here at the bottom, it will say step one and then it says, uh, next and that next will take you to step two now what you do is you can just click on next three times you don't even need to read you just say next 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 and then a screen will open up for you now if this screen does not open up then you can just click on next again because maybe you just missed a, a click or you can just click on browse then you will select your documents and you will go open your table which you have typed in your question A and then you just click on next to go to step 4. 
Now in step four, we type our letter. And please make sure that you follow all your instructions in typing your letter. That can mean maybe your um, tabs, it can be your margins or what you have to do to your fields and so on. Just follow your instructions. Then every time that you have to insert something in brackets, you do not type the fields and the brackets. You must use more items to insert the fields. Now, more items you will also find here on the right hand side. So, what this means is in your question paper, you will type, for example, dear space, and then you don't type a bracket and you type name and close a bracket. You will go click on more items, you will select name, insert, close. And then you will continue typing, typing, typing. Here I want date. So I go to, I place my cursor where I want date to be inserted. I go to more items. I click on date, insert, close. Same with seat number. Click where the answer must appear. Then go, or the uh, field must appear. Then you go to more items, select seat number, insert, close. And then you continue typing. Now, this document is very important. It counts your most marks. So here it tells you save and print. A lot of students forget to save and print this question. Also make sure that this question is has your name and surname station and question B on it. 4B, 5B, 6B, doesn't matter, but it will be a B, question B. When you are done with this question, you have saved and printed it. We are going to click on next, which is your step five and step six or your C part. So let me just quickly go back to the question paper and show you. You will, the C part always have the same information. It tells us here, question C. One, merge the documents question 5A and 5B into a new document. Now that only means go to step five. So you will see the merge letters and here it tells you to go to next. So in step five, you are merging A and B with one another. That means you your table information will be used in your letter. So where it says Abby, it will, uh, where it says name, name, it will replace Abby's information. Where it says date, it will put the date. And where it says seat, it will put the seat for Abby. Then your second letter, it will say Bongani as the name, the date as 9th of the 3rd, 2011, and 7 as your seat number. That is how it's merging A and B with one another. It takes the table and the letter and it makes it one. Then you have to change your header from B to C in step 5, not step 6. Otherwise, it only changes the first document. Then you click on next. You will see on the right hand pane, there's the option to print. Please don't say file print. You just say print. You say, you will see all is selected. So you will just say, okay, okay. And then it will print your document. Then let's see if we have time. To hand in, make sure you hand in your table as question A, your letter with this field as B, and then your merge documents as C. And also remember, if you forgot to print B, you can just go back to step four to be able to print your B. So to print B, if you forgot about this one with this funny little bracket, just go previous, previous, back to step four, change C to B, and then you print this document again. And that is just for the notes. And we will continue with explaining it on the computer next time. Keep well, students. Goodbye.